Hello everyone, I'm JP and you're watching Random Builds where we build random DIY projects. And today, I will be showing you kung paano natin ginawa ang wooden wardrobe na to. Medyo matagal ko ng plano na gawin itong wardrobe na to. Pero since wala akong um, experience sa woodwork, it took me some time para uh, magkaroon ako ng lakas ng loob to finally start this project. For the past few weeks, I've been studying uh, by watching videos how to DIY a cabinet. And I will link some um, videos below na feeling ko magiging helpful for a newbie like me. So, I hope you enjoy this video and let's start working! This is my old wardrobe and if I'm not mistaken, I bought it way back 2015 and ginamit ko siya sa dati kong apartment. Um, inuwi ko lang siya sa Tarlac 2 years ago after ko lumipat ng bahay. Going back into building my new cabinet, we will be using this 8x4 feet plyboard. For the frame, tatabas tayo ng 182 cm by 48 cm wood for the sides and 109 cm by 48 cm for the top and bottom of the cabinet using this jigsaw. As I've mentioned, this is my first woodwork and as well as using this equipment. So as expected for a first timer, um, hindi ganun ka straight yung pagcut ko ng mga woods. After nating makot yung mga gamit sa frame, I went straight in cutting some woods na gagamitin naman natin for the divider and shelvings. After we cut all the woods, we can now start assembling the frame ng cabinet. I attached the plyboard using wood glue and secured them using this wood screw. <laughs> you can see here kung paano bantayan ng tatay ko yung mga gamit niya to make sure na hindi ko sila masisira since first time ko nga silang gamitin. After mabuo ng frame, I installed the back of the cabinet using a 1 4 thick plywood. Some of you may disagree dahil inun akong ilagay yung likod ng cabinet but we did this to secure na yung stability ng frame. After namin ilagay yung likod ng cabinet, um, sinimulan ko nang i-install yung mga divider and shelves. After namin mabuo yung cabinet, I noticed na sobrang fail pala talaga nung pagcut ko kanina, creating these gaps. So what I did is use this um, glazing putty to cover them. After covering the holes, I also applied this spot sa buong cabinet before sanding it. I didn't expect na sobrang dami palang kakaining oras nito. So, to the rescue na yung tatay ko and started creating the sliding door for the cabinet. For the sliding doors, nagcut siya ng dalawang 155 cm by 57 cm na plyboard. For the door handle or kung ano man yung tawag sa kanya, we will be using these wooden handles that we got for 30 pesos each. After long hours of applying that putty sa buong cabinet and sanding, I started applying 3 coats of paint sa buong cabinet. For the doors, my original plan is to stain them, pero since walang available na stainer, um, 
ginamit ko na lang itong natural color varnish instead. After na matuyo, we have to make sure na magsaslide ang mga ito. So, I used a very modern technique using a candle. Because, why not? We also installed this piece of wood sa top and bottom of the cabinet to keep the doors in place. For the railing, I will be using this piece of metal and attach it to this dowel. And after two days of building, ready na siyang ipasok and palitan yung luma kong cabinet. If you're wondering kung magkano yung nagastos ko sa pagbuo nitong cabinet, um, my estimate is gumastos ako ng 4,000 to 4,500 pesos. And the biggest chunk of it is napunta dun sa pinangbili ko nung tatlong plyboard na tago 1,000 pesos. And um, hindi siya ganun kamura, but definitely mas mura naman siya kumpara dun sa mga... Um, cabinet na available sa market na nag-range sa um, 8,000 to 13,000 pesos. And personally, um, sobrang fulfilling lang na I can say na ako yung gumawa ng cabinet ko. So, um, yeah. Um, thank you for watching this video and I hope you subscribe and samahan nyo ako sa mga susunod ko pang DIY project. Uh, Pasibayo po, nakalasalamat. Ang gaking tutuki. Bye!